Hi, my name is Bikas Becca, and I'm making this video because we are continuing our watch through of the Mission Impossible series. We are now on, oh wait, Mission Impossible. Three. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much to my channel members. So we last watched Mission Impossible 1 and 2. 1 really liked it. And then Mission Impossible 2 had a huge tone shift that I didn't actually quite enjoy. And if you want to see my full commentary and reaction to that, I have my video up on that. Now we're going into Mission Impossible 3. I'm very excited because uh, from what I hear, it only gets like way better from here. So I have high hopes and I'm hoping that you aren't letting me down <laughs> by having those high hopes. And what I mean by you is you in the comments who have told me that it gets better. <laughs> first, seems like first so-and-so amount of movies were all directed by different directors. And then it seems like the later movies kind of solidified on one director. Now, Mission Impossible 3 has been directed by J.J. Abrams. So what I'm expecting from this film is nothing less than a lot of lens flares. If there's not a singular lens flare in this movie, I'm going to be upset. Uh, let's get started. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Okay, is he being tortured? Put an explosive charge in your head. Whoa. Oh, this looks very J.J. Abrams. The rabbit's foot, where is it? I love him. I gave it to you. Ethan. Love him in the Hunger Games series. Where's the rabbit's foot? And obviously he has had, had a very long, long career. What I gave I'm you. I'm gonna count to 10. It's just his. You're gonna tell me where the rabbit's foot is. That, it's so good. <gasps> Whoa, look at his eyes. Is that the same girl from the last one, or is this a different girl? that would be okay, do you understand? One. You listen to me. The cinematography is completely different than the first two. So if there was a misunderstanding, I will fix it. I can get it. Whatever you want. Even down, the color grading is just so, like, the contrast is, like, way up. We, we, we can talk. Like, gentlemen. Wow. Three. Three. <laughs> This is so tense, I love it. This is a great way to start this. I could help you. The way you helped me on the airplane? That way? Hmm? Why is, there, why is there always an airplane at the beginning of Mission Impossible movies? I mean, we haven't had one yet, but we've had a reference. We've had an airplane reference. <laughs> you get nothing. Are you listening to me? The only way you're gonna get what you want is for you to- No! no! You think I'm playing? You think I'm playing? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. You, I swear to God, I'm gonna no. kill you. Eight. Oh, I'm really scared of him, actually. Please. Wow, this is tense. This is so well done. I promise you, I can figure out how to get whatever you Nine. Oh no, why do I think she's gonna die? Listen, listen to me. Because they killed his whole team in the first one and that kind of what drove him. And then they kind of lost that in the second. But you gotta do what's right. What you know is right. Oh no, he does. He's not going to want to be controlled, though. He's probably going to shoot her just to get control back. I get a sense that he likes to be in control. No, I'm scared. I'm so tense. I am so tense. No. Oh. Ten. <laughs> Yay! I'm so glad they brought back this version of the theme song too. The the version of the second movie just didn't have enough oomph. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, dang. Okay. It's not the same girl from the second movie. Interesting that we're coming into this at this point. Oh, it's Hero's guy. I can read your mind guy. This movie did come out in 2006, so I do feel like a lot of the biggest stars during this time might be in this one. Every time I see him, I feel like he's like reading people's minds. Save the cheerleader. <laughs> Is he reading their lips? Lake, what was the name of that lake? Lake, uh, lake Wanaka. He is. Definitely can't put this song in the video. <laughs> or 
Sounds like the you my little boo thing. We ran out of ice. Coming back in ten minutes. I dumped out the ice. I feel like JJ Abrams did a lot during this time. There's a dog. Oh, the doggy. If the dog dies, I'm never watching another John Wick movie again. I usually go for the 900 answer. Hello. How's the party? You're gonna die. I am always this close to begging you to stop training our people and get your ass back in the field, but that's not what you do anymore, and so I respect that choice. Oh, he's gone back to teaching? Or not gone back, but like he's now doing teaching instead of doing. Yep, that we do. Wheels up at sunrise if you have a change of heart. Every time people say wheels up, I think of criminal minds. Yes. I love the spy gear. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find Lindsay and bring her home. I've already assembled a team. I have them standing by awaiting your word. Hey, Luther. Luther's back. I have to go to Houston for a night. Metro's having a public transport conference. She doesn't know that he's a spy. Luther. Luther with a stash. Hello, other characters that are probably going to die. It isn't Mr. Those Who Can't Do Teach back in the field. What's up, baby? They can run fast. Copy that. I'll need two minutes. Which means you'll need me in one, right? Yeah, just about. Rate of one. Make a left at the top of the stairs. The prize should be at the end of the hall. I love that this movie is wasting no time to get straight into the spy stuff, the gadgets, the heist, the action of it all. I feel like the last one took a really long time to like show any of that. Uh -oh. Phoenix, I find the prize. Ouch. I'm about to go live on my mark. He looks like a bug. <laughs> Hey. Whoa. Wait a one you clear move. Go, bug, go. Let's see. Okay, talk later. I'm gonna get you home. Start doing that. Observer, I've got the prize. E back in three. Roger that. Oh, uh, something's gonna go wrong here. This is adrenaline, Lindsay. <gasps> You're gonna feel this. I feel like that's probably not great. Medical people in the comments, let me know. Ethan, I have to talk to you. I have to talk to you now. What do you have to talk about? Off your transmitter. That was cool. That was really actually cool. <laughs> That's cool. Back! Ready to move! She's sick. Oh, I'm here. nervous. No. I feel like someone might actually die here. How many rounds you got? Enough. Whoa! No, no. He had one left. <laughs> cool, yes. Repelling spy stuff. Whoa. I love all the gear. Ugh. My inner child that loved spy toys. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Oh, no. Oh no, they said at the beginning that they put something in his head, right? Did they put something in her head? Is she gonna die? You can't hear that? What's wrong with her? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. What's that? What is that? He can see into her brain or on her scalp? Hold on. 
I think I'm seeing some lens flares. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, those things are huge. Hey, Jack, you do with that. Time release charge, remember that? No, time release. An explosive. They've activated. It's going to detonate unless we try to charge. It's what we're going to no, do. No, even you zap her like that, you'll stop her heart. Then I'll zap her again and bring her back. Doctors in the comments, I don't think... I'm pretty sure you don't zap again to get a beat back. You have to already have some sort of rhythm. So he'd have to do CPR first. Whoa, very cool. Whoa, look at it fly. Oh, no. Oh, that's sheep! Don't hurt the sheep! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Why would you... Oh my gosh. Oof. Thank you. Oh no. <gasps> oh. That's horrible. Oh, that's horrifying. At first I kind of thought, oh, maybe they're going to make it, but then I thought, no, because they need to they need to show how bad what it is is so that we, when it happens to him, we feel that pressure. I don't know why I'm emotional. <laughs> it's really well done. She's like, something is wrong. Killed by a detonator implanted in her skull through the nasal cavity. Up the nose? It went up the nose? How'd it get all the way up there? So gross. You allowed Ferris to board your chopper without a scan. That explosive device could have taken you all out. They were kind of in a rush. We've talked to tech services. They doubt if they can reconstitute the drives. Crispy, I believe, is what they called them. Crispy. <laughs> Crunchy. I don't care if your daddy plays golf with the president. <laughs> He's a goddamn invisible man. <laughs> He's an invisible man. Ooh, flashback. Oh, she's someone that he trained. Ferris, you know oh, this is actually control. really sad. I'm proud to say that you are the first that I've recommended for active field duty. Congratulations. Did you get the tools to read it? I might know a guy. Magnetic means encrypted. Yeah, I know that. I love when they say things like that where they're like, oh, it means this. And the other character's like, I know that because it would make sense that that character would know it. But the reason the other character is saying it is to tell the audience it. Like an accelerated mutator or sort of, you know, like a, 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 an unstoppable force of, of, of destructive power that would just lay waste to everything, to buildings and parks and streets and children and ice cream parlors, you know? So our bad guy, our antagonist, what we think they want is some sort of device to end the world. My question in these cases is always, why? Why do they want to just kill everybody? I like when a villain has a at least decent reason why they're doing what they're doing. A lot of times them thinking that they're actually doing what is right. Two days. Two days. Yeah. I wonder if she thinks that like he's cheating on her or something. <laughs> Ethan, what's going on? Oh, she can tell. I keep thinking you just need time. Tell me whatever it is that it's... It does make it more interesting that she doesn't know. What's wrong? Just say you had a friend that passed away. Can say what that. are you not telling me? Oh, a lot. This is like a Peter Parker moment. Superhero. Secret identity. I mean us. Tell me it's real. Follow me. The vows you're about to take are not Aww. to be taken without care. Aww, they're so cute. Wow, I really like her. I buy their chemistry so much more than the last movie relationship thing. So what's really interesting about this to me is his whole she doesn't know and his secret thing. That is a super popular plot point and it 
honestly is shown in some of the most successful series ever. I mean, what does Hannah Montana, Psych, and Dexter have all in common? It's all about our main character having a secret. And the most popular episodes are where that secret is revealed to somebody in some way. And slowly but surely everyone around figures it out or their identity is like you know, Spider-Man 2, superheroes. It's all the same thing. And for some reason, I love that plot point in everything. And I will watch any show with it. And it's very popular among a lot of other people too. So I don't know. It's just interesting to me. Um, I imagine given that what we saw at the beginning of this movie, the secret isn't going to last longer than this movie. But anyway, I buy their romance a lot more than the last one. And I'm so far really enjoying this. <laughs> this is like an acting exercise, it looks like. <laughs> you're Italian men and you're angry. Go. <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's cool. That also looks just fun. Yes. Don't be sad on a wall. <laughs> what? Was that foreshadowing? Why did he say that? Why did he look at the camera and say that? <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Is that what's going to happen to you? It's beautiful background. Beautiful scenery. Beautiful place to film. Was it a picture? <gasps> when she notice like no cars anything's moving for a while not even trees to wind i would think it's frozen you know whoa he loves to repel every movie so far he has repelled somewhere <laughs> i expect that in every movie from here on out i hope that is true oh hello he's like studying studying reading yes very intense Buongiorno, reading. Yes. Uh, ciao, sono Rebecca. Piacere di conoscerti. Charlie Tink, did you fire the tracer yet? It is amazing how much between, let's see, 1996, 97 was the first film. This one's 2006. Yes, it's been 10 years between, but it is interesting to see just how far technology has already expanded. And it's already outdated. Fire in the tricer. Now. Whoa, scuba. Alpha, I'm in. Si. Solo un istante. She looks like she's in a car commercial. Now she looks like she's in a perfume commercial. There he is, our big bad. Okay, gosh, rude. Gosh, my elementary self would have just killed to have a fake compact photo taking machine. <laughs> Man, I didn't mean to be so cavalier. Oh, they're making his face. There's been no face taking off in this so far. And we've never seen the process of making someone's face. We're making a face. You can make a f face to go. <laughs> I don't like that. These are beautiful shots. 23 months, that's as long as it'll last when you got the baggage we do and the lifestyle we got. Really? Yeah, really. Look at me. I know what I'm talking about. And you know I know what I'm talking about. So he's there to be, Luther is there to kind of be the voice of like, you can't have this married lifestyle with someone who's not involved in this stuff, you know. Ew, we've never seen a face going that's on before. Gonna be something between you oh, that's they're going to transition to the actor, right? Listen. Dishonesty. A dishonesty that poisons everything. I think oh. I need to tell you something. Stop talking. And whoever this girl is, Ugh. you're going to end up messing up her life too. Don't oh, that's it. the actor now. That was cool how they did that. Jules and I got married two days ago. Congratulations. 
Thanks. <laughs> the applause coming in. I thought it was a sound effect, but then I realized it's from the party. He's walking. I'm going in. Watch that. I'm on my way. So now he's playing both, but with Tom Cruise's voice. Fine. It's fine. I always spill red wine on my white custom made shirt. Okay. On my white custom made shirt. Wow. I don't know why I'm like, wow, he's so rude. He literally like is the villain. Like, <laughs> like, wow, he's mean. Why is he so mean? <laughs> oh, that bathroom is beautiful. I love a beautiful bathroom. <laughs> what a nice place to pee. He's tall. Broad shoulders. So quiet. He's going to get smacked here, isn't he, or something? What? Oh, in the vent. He's venting. He's going to get kidnapped by himself. Not like alone, but like by him, by someone who looks like him. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Read this, slowly. Read it. <laughs> the pleasure of Busby's company. Got it. This guy's like, it's my job to check the bathroom every five minutes. Sir, is everything all right? Everything is not all right. Voice mask is still compiling. I need 30 seconds. Sir? <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna cough forever. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep coughing. Okay, go. Uh, fine, wait outside. <laughs> Be like, what a weird dude. Wow. That was... Crazy. You want to wash my shirt? What, what are we going to do while we're waiting in your hotel room and I'm not wearing my shirt? <laughs> uh, she would like to drive. Follow me to the hotel. He even had like more of that like Tom Cruise like I'm smiling and talking like persona apart from the uh, like the uh, my custom shirt. He was like, oh, da, da, da. very Tom Cruisey. And I mean that as a compliment to the actor. Played himself, being Tom Cruise, being him well. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> this is so fun. It's such a nice car. Oh, they're going to think he died. Do it. Dang. Yay! <laughs> he looks like a dad that has to have a talk with his kid. He's like, look, we need to talk about today. <laughs> I was you in the bathroom. Why don't they wear other people's faces when they're doing stuff like this to protect their identities? Wife, girlfriend. Uh-oh. You know what I'm going to do next? I'm going to find her. That's why you should wear other people's faces. And I'm gonna hurt her. Who are you? And who's the buyer? You don't have any idea what the hell's going on, do you? I mean, you saw what I did to your little blonde friend at the factory, right? Oh, well, that was nothing. That was um, fun. That was very Joker-esque, that line right there and the way he delivered it. <laughs> Ooh, is he gonna, is he gonna like throw him out of the plane? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Run into Roger's foot. Dude, even the audio was completely blown out there. They didn't like fix it. Whoa. is the last thing you should be concerned about. Ethan. Oh, he said Ethan. See, why don't you say other names, you use others' faces, 
you're going to have to kill this bad guy because he he doesn't care. He's very Joker-esque. He like just does not care. And now he sees that you do care and that you're a supposed good guy. So he knows that he can push your buttons. This is what came up. The call to Davian came from Brassel's office. It's Brassel. I think he's Double agent, Davian. again. I think I'm being set up. Whoa. Whoa, that was so cool. Dang. Whoa, it's like Final Destination. I like the sound of rocks going clunk, 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 clunk. It's a nice sound. <laughs> How they're able to just walk away from Rex like this. Whoa, behind you. Behind you. Wow, they suck at aiming. Get down! Get down! That was a cool shot of him running on the bridge like that. Whoa, slide! What's that? Safe! Oh, I thought they were just graffitiing. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's to get him out. Whoa, ow. That was cool. Whoa. Wonder how much this sequence cost. Get him. I mean, I know he doesn't get him because of that beginning sequence, but I still hope he does, you know? They had him, they did all that work to get him. They had him and it's just over like that. They should have let him drop him out of the plane. Ugh. We need you to come with us. Whoa, just, hey. Is that the guy from Psych and that Leprechaun movie on Disney Channel? Ouch. Oh, that sucks. Hmm, that looks nice and sterile. Ugh, our double agent guy. You ordered the Vatican operation without proper approvals. That mission resulted in a catastrophic attack. Why are they always going against him? Hasn't he already proven his-ness already? In you can look at me with those judgmental, incriminating eyes. It's a very square face. Bullshit you not, I will bleed on the flag to make sure the stripes stay red. <sighs> I don't like him. Russell's right. You're out of control. You were the one who were taking credit for the success like 15 minutes ago. It's just, uh... Oh. This is... So disappointing. I should have known they'd bring it back. Like I've said before, you can't introduce the fact of something without them using it later. They introduced at the beginning that he can read lips. Okay. <laughs> okay, I hated you for like a minute there. <laughs> Sorry, guards. You're going down. Whoa. <laughs> Smacked with the phone. Oh, not another elevator shaft. I don't like what happened in the first movie. And this is Brassel again. I'm ordering a code six lockdown. I repeat, it's Hunt. We're under code I know six. it's Hunt. Hunt was flagged on sub basement nine.
<laughs> he is a fast runner. He's doing a lot of running in this movie. Musgrave told us about Julia. We're here to help. To get your wife, you'll need the rabbit's foot. According to the plans from Davian's briefcase, it's in a laboratory on the 56th floor of the Heng Sheng Lu building. No, then, uh... My favorite parts of Tom Cruise acting is those moments, and I think it's true with any good actor, it's those moments where you can he hear all their thoughts through their eyes and they don't have to say the things. You can just see everything that they're thinking and feeling and you know enough to know exactly what they're thinking. I really loved that in the first movie when all his little buddies were dead and he was kind of just the grief he carried of that. And then the second one, it bothered me that he was all just smiley and whatever about anything. And he didn't even seem to really care that much about his romance. I just didn't buy it. This one feels like it has a lot, like so much weight to it, you know? Look at him. He looks so cool. He's like, I'm Batman. And I'm going to go take down the Joker. <laughs> I kind of hurt my voice. Thank you for coming. That's my job. You're also friends. Whoa. A bouncy ball. Imagine hearing that and being like, where would that have come from? Whoa. Yeah, they're freaking out. <laughs> Hit him again. <laughs> being up that high, being like, where are these baseballs coming from? You can see the gravity of it in his eyes. Whoa, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, what? Grippy, grippy, grippy. Oh, he shot a guy while falling. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that okay was so real. <laughs> I knew he'd make it. <laughs> Everyone watching this movie, he made it, he made it. I know it. I, he, I know it'd be fine. I need to watch the behind the scenes of this and see how they shot that. Any good news? No, nothing. Oh, come on, Ethan. Interesting that we're here sitting in the cars rather than seeing what's going on. Look at the rabbit's foot, but I can't make it to the roof. What the hell do you mean you can't make it to the roof? Where are you? Look up, look up, look up! Whoa! Oh my gosh, okay, so we didn't get to see any of the inside part. Whoa. Lens flares, lens flare, lens flare. <laughs> oh, dang. What building did he crash into? I couldn't make out where he even was. Biohazard. <laughs> oh. He's gonna get pulled out of the window. <laughs> get hit in the face with the paper. That was so perfect. I bet when they were on set filming that, they were like, yes. <laughs> Those two shots were hilarious. Oh, I can feel the joy of the camera operators. Oof. Into traffic. Oh, no. Oh, there he is repelling again. Oh, a bus or a truck, of course. Whoa, the biohazard. Get it. Get it. This is crazy. Look at everyone staring at him. Those good people, this is so crazy. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Dude, they really had to shoot that where I felt his arm got a little hit by that car there. Someone really had to like drive right up to him like that. That would be a scary day on set. Be like, you have to stop right here. Exactly. You okay? Not yet. Sometimes these action sequences, I, I get a little lost where we are, though. It's just so much going on, and I feel myself getting a little bit of a headache. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it! Especially when the camera's like... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> he looks like he's doing that just to look cool. It's like, I'm gonna bend as far back as I can. But it does look cool. I gotta say no! Gosh, the shaky cam. Hit redial. Oh, look at that. How is that a shot? It's like... Good luck. You too. Aww. I thought I wouldn't like him, but I actually really like him. He's a very authentic way about him where he's like, good luck, you know? I'd love, I'd love to see that intel. I'll be in my office. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. I wear neutrons on my tie. Drink it. No questions. Nah, 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 nah. I hate that guy. I don't know why. He does a really good job making me not like him. Be like, sorry, I don't drink anything that comes in a little potion bottle. Rude, just waking up. Oh no. Oi, here we are. You put an explosive charge in your head, you're gonna tell me where the rabbit's foot is. He had it. He had it in the car. Please. No. No. Oh. Ten. No! No! Did he shoot her? Is she dead? She's not really dead, is she? I'm so confused. He had it. He was just going to give it to him. So why does he not know where it is? And also, did he really just shoot her? I'm so confused. What's going on? Why is he here? What's going on? It's complicated. Is he? Is he a double agent? I just liked him. You can't just open the canister. We had to make sure you brought the real thing. The rabbit's foot. Don't you touch her! Don't you touch her! Oh, she still left? Oh. It's not even her. Davian's translator is head of security. Remember? Julia is still alive. Davian wanted to kill you both, but I convinced him otherwise. As long as you tell me what was in Lindsay's message. Ethan. Ethan. Dude. I'm like him right now. I'm like, what? I told him. That's how Davian knew Lindsay was coming. You're responsible. You're the double agent in this one. Is there always a double agent? And when the sand settles, our country will do what it does best clean up infrastructure i'm glad they went this direction because like i said you have to give the bad guys a reason that they actually think they're doing the right thing that look yeah bite him you don't know a lot about head butting you just see it in movies but how does it work that they pass out someone else they make someone else pass out but they don't themselves pass out I think I like my job, okay, a lot. All right, and you know they're gonna be taping this call. And you know you can erase it. I'm giving you the number right now. Are you ready? All right. Just... <laughs> All right. <laughs> he gave in so quickly. Six, four, three, six, seven. Okay, wait, okay. Just... <laughs> Hold the line, please. His timing is really good. Is this the movie where he broke his foot or something? Jumping off a roof? I remember that being in the news. <laughs> Man, he can run fast. I've said it so many times. 
watching this. He runs fast. <laughs> Dang, this shot tracking him is impressive. That's good. Get going, get going. Okay, now look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's such a nice little moment. Dude is barely out of breath after all that running. I'd be like crying oxygen. Oh, you messed up, dude. Oi! There she is. But they put that thing up your brain. Don't take too much time. Oh no, the thing in his brain. Oh no, he's there, isn't he? Hello. This is so interesting. Is she gonna go for it? She's got some fire in her, you can see it. You can see it. Ooh, it's a slow-mo. gonna happen here what's gonna happen oh no is she really gonna die no they wouldn't do it they wouldn't do this again not when we thought she died the first time they wouldn't do it again she seems calm dude is like having the worst migraine of his life and <laughs> kicking this guy's butt with his elbows That is not what I expected to happen. Look at the people just standing there. It's actually quite a genuine response. You would think everyone would scream, but sometimes people can't catch up with what just happened, so they just kind of stare in real situations. What do those men want from you? Honey, I'm Hannah Montana. <laughs> First, you have to get this thing out of my head, right? Or shock me or something. What is he gonna do to deal with it? A defibrillator. A defibrillator? Who are these people? This is a Brenner, 92F. It's a very accurate close range weapon. Don't point it at me. Sorry. Don't point it at me. It's like the first rule you learn in concealed carry class. Never point it at something you don't want to shoot. About this. To reload. He's making his own defibrillator. <laughs> you the other one in. Like the batteries in the flashlight in the kitchen. They'd release the slide. He's a good teacher. Point shoot. Very simple. Point. Step back. Good. I have a charge in my head. I'm gonna die unless you kill me. I'm gonna die unless you kill me. You can bring me back. I'll come back. You have to. There's no time now. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, he broke it. Oh, this is so much for her to deal with. What do you see? Oh, reflection. Smart. Oh, you can see him camping. Nice, yes. Yeah. Same, honestly, I'd be like, I wouldn't be that good of a shot, but I would be shaking. Behind you. <laughs> She's so cool. Oh, <gasps> you shot him. Yes, the double agent. Oh, and he has the thing. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, they're playing the sad music because they want us to think he's actually dead. But I know there's a lot more movies. Although if you were watching this for the first time, it is a third and they do like to do things in trilogies. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, staying alive, staying alive. She's, she works in um, a hospital, duh. She would know how to do it. <laughs> His first instinct <laughs> is what do I shoot? <laughs> you did that? <laughs> You did that? <laughs> oh. 
they have really good chemistry. Wow, the coloring of those shots were really different than this shot too. They almost felt like they were filmed on a totally different camera, edited by someone else. Run away! <laughs> it's a cute shot. It's what I really liked about the very beginning of the first one, was just like the friendship feeling warmth of the group and how they knew each other. <gasps> yes! So fun. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me and watching Mission Impossible 3. Loved this one. It was fun all the way through. I feel like each segment had such exciting little moments from beginning to end. There was, uh, it was just, it was really nice. My only complaint was some of those shaky cams and the headache that it was giving me. I'm super excited to watch the rest of this series. If you enjoyed this reaction and commentary and you enjoy um, me being able to kind of talk more about just the film side of things, um, let me know by commenting below. And if you're someone who doesn't like to comment, um, then please leave a like to let me know. But other than that, um, thank you so much again to my channel members. You get the full watch with me video of of this and uh, that's all because it's over. Bye. <laughs>